Hey, what's up guys, the Bloom Pop here. Um, this video is going to be me doing a review on one of the new towers. The new tower for Bloom's Tower Defense 5 Deluxe, I should say. The tower that I am going to be reviewing is going to be the Monkey Engineer. So, I have unlocked it all the way. I'm uh, just going to show you all the unlocks. It starts off basic, then there's sentry gun, 9 inch nails, faster engineering, larger surface area, cleansing foam, sprockets, balloon trap, and overlock. I'll be showing you both paths. And yeah, I'll just you do ocean road, I'll do sandbox. Um, if you guys liked my suggestion video, um, that I, the previous video before this video, I'll just, you see, it's got a decent range, like, and if you guys want me to do more suggestion videos, I can make more tower ideas. I've already got another tower ideas, but I'll do that in another video. So it's got a averagely good range. <clears throat> This description is good at building stuff. The monkey engineer shoots balloons with a powerful nail gun and has many useful upgrades that create traps, sentries, and other enhancements. Um, it costs four hundred and fifty dollars, which is not that much, honestly. But on easy, it costs three hundred and eighty-five, which is kind of cheap. So I'll see its original one against. A lead balloon. Yeah, it can't pop lead balloons. Um, and it takes a really long time, unupgraded, for it to pop ceramic balloons. Well, it can't really, because they're too far. So if I upgrade it, sentry gun. Oh, watch what happens. If I just see it spawns sentry gun. It spawns up to three sentries. I'll just. And they basically take out everything. Then if you go fast engineering, he builds more sentry guns. So there's four and I think it gets up to five. Yeah, it's five sentry guns, which is the maximum amount. Then well, obviously nine inch nails and large surface area. With larger surface area it shoots really far. Then the cleansing foam, what this does is it actually, let me just throw a regen ceramic out, see it actually loses its regen ability, and also camo, if I get rid of the regen, there, rainbow, camo, just wait for it to pass, it gets rid of the camo effect, so that's a very useful upgrade, and then there's the balloon trap, I'll wait for him to put it down and then I won't. Oh my god. See, it catalects them and then it blows up, destroying all balloons in it. And you get money for it. So that's a really useful upgrade. Now I'm gonna do gonna do so I'm gonna sell that. And I'm going to show you. 9 inch nails, which makes it be able to pop frozen balloons and 8 balloons at a time, I think. I'll just upgrade them. Larger surface area obviously makes it big enough. Sprockets um, increases the fire rate um, quite a lot. So now, if I call in a ceramic balloon. Um, yeah, it actually can kill it. And overlock, say I put down a dart monkey, and I put the overlock thing, you just hover over him and put it down, then I call in. It actually, like, superpowers him. I think. 
Yeah, I'm not entirely sure on how that actually works yet, but I'm pretty sure it does. So this has been my monkey engineer. You know. Oh, what's it called? Uh, some tip my tongue. Monkey engineer review video on one of the new towers in Bloom's Tower Defense 5 Deluxe. Overall, I think it is really, really good, but the final upgrades could be a bit better, especially overlockability. Thanks for watching. Bye.